Hello, I'm Dr. Keith Forworth, and we're going to talk about adenoids today. I'm often asked what the adenoids are and where they're at. First, they're located in the back of the nose, way in the back. You can't really see them if you look in through the mouth. Here's an open mouth. If we looked in here, we wouldn't see them. They would be up here behind the soft palate. From the side, they're right in here. Adenoids are made up of the same type of tissue that tonsils are made up of. They're just in a different location, and they serve much the same function. Adenoids, much like tonsils, when they go bad, you don't need them, kind of like an appendix. When it goes bad, you're better off without it. How does the adenoids affect the eustachian tube, and how does it have an interaction with ear infections? Well, for kids, if they get fluid in their middle ear during an infection, the way that it would naturally drain is down and out the eustachian tube. But if the adenoids are enlarged here, where the eustachian tube comes out, then that could block the drainage of fluid downstream. So sometimes kids are helped with their ear infections by removal of the adenoids. If we look at it from the front side, the adenoids are way up here in the back of the nose, and big adenoids would block that eustachian tube and not allow it to drain properly. Finally, adenoids, if they're enlarged, can block flow of air through the nose and can be a source of bacteria and irritation and inflammation that can lead to a chronic runny nose. So one of the advantages of removing the adenoids is oftentimes it will improve a chronic runny nose, oftentimes it will help the eustachian tube to work better and allow kids to not have as many ear infections. I hope this explanation was helpful to you. If you have other questions, check out my other videos on YouTube or on KeithForth.com.